want to talk about the process of buying lands and mostly I'm focusing and targeting people who are living outside Kenya. People who are outside Kenya are the ones who are always falling victims for these land fraudsters because when you go home you have money cash at hand you are desperate and you want to buy a piece of land you want to start developing something so most of the time you f they take advantage of you guys because you don't know the process of how do i declare that this land is a legit land this land doesn't have scandal this land doesn't have a case in court this land this is the real owner of the land how do i go step by step you ask for uh in itangwadi certificate of incorporation mm. you have to see whether this company is by the yeah registered jumtu anaweza kuzia shamba sahi alafu jioni kesho kitu ukikuja kwa ofisi there is no office it is already closed yeah unapata mama chief sawa ala kaanga viazi zake hapo yeah so it happens like that certificate of incorporation there is a hii ingine ya kanjo hii ya cooperate in itangwaji permit yeah business permit mm -hmm. uh, there is kra mm -hmm. every company has a kra if yeah, they are sure. filing taxes mm -hmm. you ask for all those documents mm -hmm. now after umeona hizo zingine zote sasa now you come on maybe the land yenye ulikuwa mm unauziwa -hmm. an example maybe they are selling uh, kilimambogo mm -hmm. like now we are selling Jambo guys, this is your guy Zeki and welcome to Just Zeki Show. So today, this show ni ama beshta angu wale wako Saudia, wale beshta angu wako Qatar, beshta angu wako UAE, wale wako Maju. Na maybe ume plan to invest. Imekua hard time for wale wase wako Doha, wako Saudia ku invest mtaani. Juhu napata msia na ibiwa na ajipa liata invest. Actually, ni kwa na plan kuwa fanya hii show. So actually, this is not a paid advert. So, misi uzi mashamba. But ni matafuta real estate agent wenye wanauza mashamba or to educate on which document you are supposed to use and how to invest and uh, what are the right, right platforms that to invest. So, kuna mrembo hapa ta gintroduce hatu ambie ni company gani hii? Kama wanauza shamba legit ama kitakuramba. So, karibu mrembo. Eh, uku watu ramba nangi uku. Uku ni... Kama za kanya watu sana uku. People are usually different, but anyway, my name is Brenda Kananu Moses. I'm the CEO, Kipeke Land Limited. Very young CEO. Yes, very young. Women in business, making a difference. That's nice. Yes, and that's why we are here. Very passionate and committed to serving people nice. yeah so for those who know me they can attest to that mm -hmm. that is what basically i do mm -hmm. i run this company and ensuring that mm -hmm. and doing it the right way because i know most of my 50 percent of my clients mm -hmm. are diaspora ah. so they know how we do it mm -hmm. it is better it takes some several months but we ensure that we have done it the right way okay, but basically nice. that is me that's nice yes. so karibu kwa show so actually Asante. we are here today because mm -hmm. I have some friends in, in abroad as you said. Mm -hmm. They are planning to invest but they don't know where to invest and mm -hmm. how to invest. You know nowadays you can't trust anyone. Yeah, Even sure, your brother, sure, sure. your mother, you can't trust them. Yeah. So mm -hmm. maybe you can share briefly because mm -hmm. uh, they like to know which kind of documents they can, uh, they can ask before they invest. Mm -hmm. in, in terms of land, real mm -hmm. estate. Mm -hmm. uh, like Panya, what you do best. <laughs> Let me do what I do best, yeah. by the way. <laughs> this is what I do day and night. Yeah. yeah. So number one, mm -hmm. Bianca Mutu. Of course, the process of buying land, mm -hmm. it starts maybe by you being told by someone, kuambua na maybe na mtu mahali, mm -hmm. ama uku meona kwa Facebook, ama uku meona Instagram, Twitter, TikTok. Ama maybe ni baba kwa mekuambililia shamba. Jirani anauza. Ama, <laughs> yeah, vitu kama hizo. Of course, yeah. you have to kusikia from somewhere. Yeah. Now, apart from now kusikia, mm -hmm. there is something else that is called your background check. Mm -hmm. Even without no one knowing. Mm -hmm. Maybe umeona kipeke. Mm -hmm. But now, who is kipeke, by the way? Mm -hmm. Is this company registered? Yeah. Who are the directors? Mm -hmm. How do they, because you can a citizen, it will give you all those de, de, de details. Ah, really? But then you can, yeah, yeah. you can search the it's owner of. <laughs> <laughs> you can search who is the owner of Kipeke now and Okwambie. This is the owner. Uh, mm. Shares ni fifty percent, mm. amani hundred percent. All those details. Mm. When was it registered? Uh, what does it do? It Okwambie is of it to mm. Now you do a background check for for yourself. Nezapata mm. tamuto anauza shamba. Jumebi, you have to 
kuuliza uliza huko kama yeah, mtu ajui yeah. yeah. how how things run mm. so that is the second thing now maybe after umefanya hizo vitu zote na maybe hero yako ni kama imeridhika kidogo mm. now what do you do if you are not in Kenya you send someone to that place mm-hmm. tuseme nao an example kama sisi kipekee you send mm-hmm. someone anakuja hapa kwa ofisi mm-hmm. akikuja hapa kwa ofisi there are so many things they are supposed to ask for as mm-hmm. much as wewe ulifanya search yako huko na maybe ukapata pata some few information right. you ask for uh inaitangwa di certificate of incorporation mm-hmm. you have to see whether this company is by the yeah registered jo mtu anaweza kuzia shamba sahi alafu jioni kesho kitu ukikuja kwa ofisi uh-huh. there is no office it is Office already closed is <laughs> yeah unapata <laughs> mama chief sawa yeah. alakaanga viazi zake hapo uh-huh. yeah so it happens like that mm-hmm. certificate of incorporation there is a uh, ingine ya kanjo ya cooperate inaitangwa aje permit yeah business permit mm-hmm. uh, there is KRA mm-hmm. every company has a KRA yeah, if they are true. filing taxes mm-hmm. you ask for all those documents mm-hmm. now after umeona hizo zingine zote sasa na you come on maybe the land yenye ulikuwa unauziwa mm-hmm. an example maybe they are selling uh, kilimambogo mm-hmm. like now we are selling what uh, is someone supposed to ask for mm-hmm. first of all mtu akuonyeshe the copy of the title mm-hmm. every land ama akupee akuonyeshe eh e, si ndio sasa akikuonyesha ni lazima akupatie yeah. eh so atakupatia uangalie kama unajua kuangalia an original title deed <laughs> you will look at it but uh-huh. if they don't know maybe we can we can explain to them uh-huh. how someone should look uh, for an original uh-huh. title deed uh-huh. because sahi uh-huh. kuna zenye zinatengenezewa pa river road eh na bado ni title deed eh na maybe hata ukienda kwa watu wengine na wa land registry kama wamefanya makolabo na huko unafanya yeah, search na inafanya nini <laughs> na inatoka ikiwa clean and you are like where well, this country <laughs> pale tunaelekea si mambo mazuri mm-hmm. so ukikuja hapo upatue the copy of the title deed there is a mutation form ya kuonyesha that si shamba wanakuuzia kama imesubdividedwa mm-hmm. per plot ama maybe it is per acre mm-hmm. that land should be subdivided and every land should have ama every plot should have a title deed anakupatia hizo mm. documents zote mm. then after that there is a document called RIM that is registry index map sometimes i ask someone i remember even asking nani jian when mm. uh, when she came here uh, and then kamuliza by the way nimekupatia title deeds mm. how do you know that your title deed me kupatia ni hiyo shamba hata mm. achana kama ni legit ni hiyo shamba yenye nakuuzia by the way mm. how do you know and most of people that is what i ask them mm-hmm. yes because mtu atakuja hapa akwambie unajua mimi sitaki unicorn mm. na muuliza ni kwa nini unaniuliza hivyo mm. you know i did search i did all those things and then i asked them did you get rim what is rim in full registry index map mm-hmm. because that is the document that shows you that that la title nyo ulipatiwa ni ya hii shamba okay so it's a huge they, pr- is yeah. there is there a number that collaborate with the title yes there is a number mm-hmm. maybe you can ask for for that map it is in that office i can show you ni need the sample mm-hmm. so unapata mtu alifanya hiyo process yote but the title maybe ulipewa ni ya jirani jirani yenye mm-hmm. anajua the shamba is clean mm-hmm. so unaenda unafanya nayo search na ukifanya search itatokea ikiwa nini ikiwa clean mm-hmm. but in real sense the title that were given it is not for the land that you are purchasing mm-hmm. it is totally different land mm-hmm. unaona mm-hmm. and then after company mekupatia RIM because every company must have an RIM na hata mm-hmm. ukienda kufanya search Okay, mtu aki, nini mtu akienda kufanya nini mtu akienda kufanya search mm. ask for it kwa land registry they will produce it for you but now at a cost mm. eh uta, uta inunua tu but it is good ununue shamba you should say shamba si mkate utaenda upate iko na expiry date maybe mm. ili expire jana mm. uta feel vibaya kidogo but it will not hurt you as much yeah. but now when it comes to land see 50k unaekelea peke mm. this is an investment it is worth some good uh, uh, amount of, of money, money. Yeah, right. you know mm. na ni pesa yenye mtu ameshughulikia maybe for quite a while mm. maybe alali maybe hata amejinyima ame sherehe kabisa hakuna mm. hata abai vizuri mm. because they want to save and buy something so yeah, it should be a process that is taken so seriously mm-hmm. so mtu akienda kwa land ask for RIM the land registry will produce it for you And then another thing kuna now the area map ya hiyo shamba yenye unauziwa. Mm-hmm. Now after all those documents maybe the company has submitted them to you and appear one shamba. And that's it. 
enda nini site bana mm. because now the map that you have been given ukienda kwa site you will see whether it looks the same yeah right uh, yeah. the the shape of the land you will be able to note some small small thing mm. juu kama kwa map uh, shamba ni a rectangle and then kwa ground ni pentagon mm. what is missing then there are some things that were supposed to be explained yeah, true, yeah true. by mm-hmm. the person who is taking you there mm-hmm. and then also site visit in kwanga mzuri juu kampuni unajua watu wa marketing ni, ni very funny and as a kwambia electricity on site yeah. water, water on site Road. red soil ah mm. uh, maram uh, road amatamak road true uh, schools school available uh, hospitals. hospitals all those things that they police mentioned post. police post security <laughs> site mm. hey at how many kilometers from the tarmac just three. Mm. but the end of huh. and the moment you decide to go to that site visit unaenda 100 kilometers from the tarmac Unapigwa na vumbi, <laughs> ulienda site visit ulikuwa mrembo, uh-huh. unarudi kama una unapanguza vumbi like this. <laughs> yeah, and that is the mm. importance of mtu kwenda site visit. Mm. Enda uone. Kama ni mtu umetuma huku, enda na utume by the way, I usually tell people tuma mtu mwenye very trustworthy yeah, to you. Ukweli. Mwenye atakwambia ukweli. Mm. Si mtu mwenye ataenda apatane na jamaa mwenye kwa kwa site and maybe ni ni agent. Mm. Amwambie wewe tufanye hivi isha make inunuliwa kula 5% nitakuchota mm. nitakuchota ka, ka chai ka ngiri moja ngiri mbili maybe hiyo mm. mtoto ulituma alikuwa amesota so yeah. they see that mm. ah, by the way it's not bad so i can give a, a bad nini a good feedback mm. which in actual sense kwa ground things are totally different, different. so mm. send someone mwenye mwenye trustworthy anaweza kuambia how things are venye mm. ameenda akapata kukiwa huko kwa shamba mm. that is the importance of site visit So ni kuangalizo mambo ya ba, nini barabara ziko kama walikuambia i, kuna barabara inatengenezwa do you actually see the progress mm. ama ni barabara hata hakuna kwanza mm. you know mm. ah kama ni stima by the way kuna stima kama ni maji kuna maji where can you apply mm. for me like when i take a client to site visit all those things mm. tunakuanga na checklist what did i tell you yeah. kuna stima mm. kuna maji mm. we go ticking Nilikwambia nitakupeleka ofisi ya wenye wana wana nini wana ukiapply maji wana kutengenezea we go there mm. even take their number mm. do all the, we do everything together unafanya kila nini kila kitu mm. you, you have a checklist of all those things mm. because now shamba si tunanunua uende uitupe maybe you want to settle there does it fit the things that uh, you want to do with it yeah, vitu kama hizo mm. So after umefanya hizo vitu zote maybe umeata umeenda uka interact na neighbors. Mm. Your neighbors by the way wanajuanga mambo mengi. Eh, <laughs> Wana neighbors wanajuanga. Eh inaweza wanaweza kuambia hii shamba hii by the way usichukue wari mm. grab. Mm. They know so many things. Yeah, so it is also an opportunity to go interact with the neighbors. They tell you ni nini inaendelea anga huku hii shamba unasikiaje kuna <laughs> they, they, they will tell you. Yeah. Yes mm. and that is the importance of a site visit. Mm. Now wame, mtu ameenda kwa shamba amemaliza hiyo process yote. Companies are different. Mm-hmm. Kuna kampuni watakwambia document utaandikiwa after umelipa kila kitu mm-hmm. ama it 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 differs but now for us mtu akimaliza kwenda site visit you have uh, maybe selected a certain plot you come in the office we give you the copy of the title mm. we don't give you the original mm. ukienda na original tutaweza ku transfer <laughs> yeah, <right. laughs> yes so we give you the copy of the plot yenye umechagua and then unaenda land registry we don't connect you with anyone so let me ask a question mm-hmm. before i cut you short <laughs> so you mean you have like a 10 acre land Mm. you have subdivided into plots yes. so you mean each plot has its own uh, yes. title yes yes like yes each title under the key peke yes under key peke yes if i finish paying my own plot mm. you will make a transfer immediately yes it's immediately. not like it's still attached to the whole plot no 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 okay yes so that is what we do mm-hmm. unapata iki subdivide wa every plot as an individual title yeah for easier transfer so mm-hmm. that wewe ukimaliza maybe within 30 days you don't wait for someone who is paying within 10 months mm-hmm. wewe tunafanya nini tunamaliza nia hapo hapo na usikai ambiwa ready title deed etu kuja na pesa yako tukupatie title deed yako that's a lie maybe mm-hmm. for someone mwenye 
analipa ile ya pole pole huyo mm -hmm. unaweza mwambia before you complete the payment your title will be ready yeah. the only thing is that there is ready title deeds That's for transfer That's marketing only. yes for transfer mm. but let no one tell you that eti kuja ukilipa hivi 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 like size okay, so size so now you go back now. with your title example question how long mm. does it take to make a transfer from kipeke mm. to your client for us yeah. it takes a maximum of 30 days maximum not yes. minimum maximum so of after 30, 30 days if i don't have the title it's a lie yes it is a lie and maybe in case mm. there is any una just as after you have done the transfer and the consenting and mend the board mm. nimeacha documents huko mm. from there i don't have control over the process the way it is happening there but for us now the person when you anatufanyange hiyo kazi namwambia i would really love if my titles will uh, be ready in one month mm. yes like in, in case of any delay because sometimes anapatanga registrar ameenda off ama maybe alikuwa na event event mahali imechelewa mm. maybe title deed imeprintiwa imetoka but it has not been signed mm. sealed and nini stamped hizo mm. vitu zote a client must be communicated to mm. that maybe your title tulikuwa tumesema leo but tunaona kama zitafika kesho so unaweza chukua kesho kutwa mm -hmm. something like that there must be a communication mm -hmm. but for us we work with 30 working days because ni need tunaendanga board inaendanga tu once kama una, unaenda ile the normal board mm -hmm. it is just once in a month mm -hmm. yes so before the other nini the other board unaona it will be nini within one month mm -hmm. so the title will be will be ready yes sawa sawa so maybe there's something else you like to share about mm -hmm. kipeke go tuko kipeke hapa still you love to sell a land <laughs> but so actually <laughs> bwambi watu unapatikana wapi mm -hmm. shamba zenye unauza mm -hmm. and then i will ask you one last secret question and then mm. tamaliza yeah but uh, maybe there is something that i have not answered mm -hmm. uh, from the first question that you asked me about the documents mm -hmm. we have talked about the to deed mm -hmm. we have talked about mutation mm -hmm. right we have talked about um, nini ningine RIM we have talked about that, that is the registry index map mm -hmm. but now there is another thing huh? when you are doing the transfer maybe now you are process your tax eh ju sasa unaweza hata mtu amekwambia eti the transfer inafanyika <laughs> tu yes, <laughs> yes sasa yeah. how can it happen maybe yeah, if sure. they want to call you directly and now your money is totally mm -hmm. gone mm -hmm. so there are things that they are supposed to ask from you mm -hmm. number one, maybe umeandikiana agreement receipt zimetolewa au faleta umepatiwa all that process is done mm -hmm. i'm assuming that so they are supposed to ask you for a passport photo kapicha yako ka kapicha kako sasa mm -hmm. then the second thing you are key are pin mm -hmm. that one is a you can't do transfer without a key are pin yeah true then your id Mm -hmm. the copy of your id mm -hmm. both sides not just one side yeah, both of them mm -hmm. yes because now the details that will be in the transfer document and the consent document those are the details that are going to uh, be in, in, included for your title deed ndio maana tukiona kama id yako iko na makosa title deed itatoka na na makosa ama if anything went wrong during transfer and consenting mm -hmm. still your title deed itatoka ikiwa na nini ikiwa na makosa yeah. so if you have purchased any land na umesikia ujaitishwa search documents wewe jua kuna <laughs> kuna kitu yenye inaendelea yeah. yenye yeah. it is yeah. it is yeah. not yeah. Nini, the right one yeah. yes so basically that is it and maybe title ikitoka they are supposed to give you a copy of the transfer and the consent for you to stay with it mm -hmm. but also all these documents that we have talked with it is good for someone to have, have all of them mm -hmm. since the moment you started the process until the time you completed mm -hmm. the whole process have all those documents and just keep them mm -hmm. yes so many uliza na tunauza wapi <laughs> before uze ah uze <laughs> Aya, uza shamba kwanza. <laughs> yeah, so currently tuko na project tatu, the mm -hmm. ones that we are dealing with. Number mm -hmm. one is Matu. Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. And then number two is Kilemambogo. Mm -hmm. And then number three is Malende. Mm -hmm. We have others that are upcoming like Nakuru and Kisumu. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but now we are on the process of doing the, the ah, due Nakuru, diligence. Really? Yes. Nakuru watu. Uh, sita wambi until ni malize. Every person ni malize the process because yeah. these processes sometimes they are so active. Yeah, yeah. Unenango una 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 pata shamba eh, ikopoa ukienda kufanya mambo ya search mm. shida. Mm. You have now to look for another so, one. Which mm. land do you have the cheapest? The cheapest is uh, Matu. Mm -hmm. Matu it's going at two hundred and fifty cash by you size. Unaita, unaita cheap. Uh -huh. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Uh -huh. <laughs> we can take. Uh -huh. <laughs> but let me tell you, let me tell you why Matu is cheap. Mm -hmm. So by size is fifty by hundred mm -hmm. to fifty cash, two hundred and eighty installment here up to ten months. Mm -hmm. So what do you do? You deposit fifty k. Okay. Yes, as the first commitment, mm -hmm. and now the balance unalipa within ten months. So that is where the it's part of being cheap and affordable comes in because utapata mtu mwenye maybe ako outside country most of their salary 50 50, 50 yeah 30 uh, 30 30 eh uh, ati inakuanga 23 23 23 for the next 10 months, 10 months. so unapata hata mtu ataweza kuketa for other things yeah, right. apart now from only just concentrating on on land unaweza pata hiyo mtu hata akona familia akona vitu zingine anafanya but now we we try any way possible that we can help people as much as they have other responsibilities to do mm -hmm. also when is a part of an opportunity to own land yeah, yeah. so that's why matu it's uh, somehow uh, very affordable but it is very affordable hapana <laughs> how can we say but see mashamba zinakuanga kwa vichaka zinaenda zinapagiliwa zinalimwa vizuri zinafensiwa maji inaekwa stima zinaekwa and then by the that's that's how a place grows jo hakuna shamba yenye utapata kama hapa dhika town sa hii plot ya 40 by 30 it is 25 m Apatao. Uh, 40 by 30. Okay, let's not talk about that. <laughs> so, yes, now, so my secret question. Mm -hmm. To Maliza, actually, your time. Uh, you talked about cash, 250 cash. Mm. Can you explain me cash? Ni cash ni kupatia leo how ama ni cash within how many months? Okay, for, for us, mm. cash is within one month. You mm. clear the payment within one month mm -hmm. yes come on one month you another year more is men week on that one days mm -hmm. <laughs> so within that one days i'm at 30 days i'm at 28 days so you don't have three months plan six months plan ten months plan zina kuanga but mm -hmm. now for cash for us it's within one month mm -hmm. so come on two months kuna ile interest in it again mm -hmm. yes but now within one month there is no interest that it is gained now i have a yes. question uh, let's say you have a plot which has a plan of three months, six months, and one year. So I'm supposed to pay for 250 cash. So I have only one month, not three months. Yeah, it is one month. So if I fail to pay in one month, why mm -hmm. does, can't you take it to three months plan? We can, with communication. Mm -hmm. Yes. If someone communicates an honor, by the way, I committed myself to one month mm. and nikama vitu hapa azita ingiana venye I had planned. So mm. we come and sit again and maybe add, for, add me one month or two months mm. or even we make it six months mm. or even ten months. Mm. Yeah, just sometimes you, I tell someone there is no need for you to be stressed. Yes, there is. Yeah, true, there is an opportunity. Mm. Yes. So just fix yourself in this other bigger opportunity and it itakupia flexibility. Mm. Yes. And either cash or installment, everything is inclusive. Title processing fee, uh, pesaya board, uh, stamp duty, all those things are there. So either 250 or 280, there is no extra amount someone is supposed to kutoa. Mm. Even one shilling. Maybe person you tatua ni ya kutoka kwako, ukikucha hapa kwa ofisi, yeah. to pick the title deed. Yes, and also to Natumanga title deed wherever people are. Unatuma. Yes, mm -hmm. if someone doesn't want Sini anyone to Dubai, you should come to me. In Sakutumia. Anyway, before we go, every letter zile my title marketing when I kaga up a marketing when I find a fine my title zile offices in Guinea. Oh, <laughs> Ziko, Ziko. Ziko, 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 Ziko. Anyway, zile, uh -huh. so guys, Meskia, mm -hmm. I hope you Meskia can be and some documents when you're going to take up a video. 
nizione at least you get to learn what document do you require mm. or you're supposed to have ukinua shamba so kipeke wame to host eh chai meisha but so uh, tutakunya next time tena tutakunya tenet. next time yes so yes. wambi unapatikana wapi kwa social media wa watafute so we are in tiktok we are in instagram uh, twitter nyingine facebook mm. yes uh, and every name there it is kipeke land limited kipeke land limited utatupata hapo so you can subscribe and also you can call us via 0727 802277 ukitupigia na hiyo ikuwe ni wakati gani ama gani your call will be received and for any question just be rest assured that your answer will be given so perfectly and we welcome you to keep a care we are we know you will be happy when you come here sawa guys we must care from the youngest ceo Mkuja yeah. mwenye mashamba so yeah, guys remember to subscribe sana. Uh, share and uh, follow kipeke kipeke wana spell ki kifungu and then kipeke kifungu. Yeah. sawa guys yeah and maybe for those who want to visit our office we are located yeah. in Dika town a building called Biashara Plaza first floor utatupata hapo Equity Plaza eh hey, Equity Plaza ama just next to Naivas supermarket yeah. Ya yeah, ama ukifika hapo you, you don't see us unaweza angalia kwa branding utaona kipeke mm. and maybe in case ukose kuona hizo vitu zote when you call us our team will pick you ama unipigie yes. ama upigie well, thank you sawa <laughs> 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 sana thank you see you next time oh, okay thank you